I'm just gonna put a line here just so roughly so all my screws are lined up into the wood. I don't want this thing to rattle at all. It'll be perfect. Okay. I can start putting screws in there. Okay, I just have to get my tools. I lock my tools in there. So, okay, let me get organized. Okay, so I'm gonna start putting some screws in here. This is, I got the Milwaukee right here. Which works better now. This is the ratchet one, right? Oops. We'll see how that the next one goes. Condition of my battery is hmm. looks good. Oops. One seems to go pretty fast. It was actually pretty good. Almost seems faster, actually, to be honest. The Dewalt. Seems like uh, the bit's so tight. I have to get just perfectly on. Should be solid now.
I'm going to keep continuing. I'm going to go all across here. I'm going to get the uh, other plywood so I can cut it. Go the same lengths here. Okay. Okay, I chalk lined it here, so I'll try to cut a straight line. Cutting crooked already. A little shallow. Stupid thing. Okay, I gotta find something else. That's all crap. It's cutting crooked, you can see it's already cutting crooked. Okay. Okay, so I grabbed the new brand new saw. So I didn't cut it for the side. Let's see what happens here. Cut it for that side, but so I grabbed the new saw, I had a brand new saw sitting. Battery's kind of getting weak, so I think that was the issue. But it was cutting crooked. As you can see, it was cutting totally crooked. So I think there's something wrong with that saw, that's why someone chucked it. You know, that we start cutting stuff and it goes crooked, well, it's no good, right? So let's see how, how it turned out. Not too critical anyways, another sheet goes over it anyways. Not too worried. Looks okay. So I think it's the other one's the same same distance. Take measure. So I grabbed well I had a brand new one, I always buy new tools, so I had a new one sitting. Here's the box. But there was a, I didn't didn't give me a key to take the blade off. I don't see it unless it's hidden. I looked out all over the uh, the stupid thing, didn't see it on there. Like an Allen key or something. Too much is here. I'm charging the one battery, which I may charge the next battery. I leave this charger side here. I have another spare charger. Kick around here somewhere. That's a new blade too, which probably makes a little difference. But definitely, like I say, 
I'm thinking that it's cutting majorly crooked. Like 11 and a half. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing again. Try to cut another piece. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, I got the second sheet of plywood on. Hopefully it's going to... I'm just going to go over the foot now. Let's go over the foot. the studs I'll have enough screws, I think. Put the rest screws in, and I'm gonna get that uh, heavy aluminum. I'm gonna see if I can try to weigh it, see how heavy it is. Okay. okay here's that uh, sheet. You never think aluminum would be that heavy. This is crazy heavy. Crazy heavy. Put on a scale, which is 100 pounds or more.
We'll try to weigh it. I'm not sure if I'll get 100%, but I should be able to get some weight out of it. Ten pounds. Well, it's hundred, hundred nine, hundred ten, hundred nine pounds. This is very heavy. That's why. So this uh, thing's gonna be super heavy. That means it's gonna have to be two hundred pounds of aluminum just sitting on top of that deck. it up turn around oh. I don't know if I'm gonna like this stuff but there's nothing Dirty under it. This is where the dirt from the uh, the rain and stuff would go on. Oh. Now you wonder why I made it so big comment saying they would have went smaller but I'm not gonna wreck this stuff material up this deck would cost you a fortune okay well it's got kind of one there <coughs> okay I'm gonna take a break for a second that's pretty heavy so it's a uh, might be more than five feet this thing actually well I thought it was five hangs over just a very little it's about five feet that's okay there it's piece out of square a little bit. This is probably perfect square. It's factory cut, right? Little gap here. I want to kind of close that gap. It's pretty crooked here, but you know why? Because these are one inch longer. I didn't realize it was these two by sixes aren't eight feet exactly. They're eight feet and a half inch. So when I went two across, it went to one inch over eight feet. So it's, that's what I need here. See. Right there, that's my inch. Well, no inches. It's three quarters here, so it, it would have been out a little bit, but not that much. So whatever. Next time we gotta measure. I suppose you know. I, I figured it'd be all factory, right? Looks like she's pretty good actually. And I can see. 
Let's see if I can get something that covers this. It's not a big deal, really. I'd say it's probably good enough. And this will be one solid mass. I was trying to push for that the same height as that other table. Because it works actually pretty good, this table. This is 34 and a half, but uh, but since, like I said, since it's a long bench, I have to have a better viewing angle. Otherwise, if it's too high, you know, I'd lose a little viewing angle. It's like 33, I think. 33, but it's still perfect height. See. Perfect height, and not, if it's like if it was all this much, I'd feel awkward. See, my hands kind of work that way. I think it's actually perfect. Perfect height. You could get the um, that one's ready. Get a drill. Okay, let me get you a drill setup, Stemma. Nice part of this thing, it's got a built in. Recess. They drilled it bigger, so. See, the recess is not in the way. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. It's a stupid bit. I don't know what's going on here. It just so it doesn't want to. I have to put it in place here. Just to make it work. Be careful, I hope you have enough screws. So now, now you know why I made so big. I'm not going to cut these very valuable pieces up. It'd be stupid to cut it. Because I can sell these down the road if I ever have to. As decking. They have enough I guessed this much actually I went back and took a handful more because I thought maybe I needed some of these holes it's like they re realigned it in another deck might have been used one time already be careful don't strip these Try to find a power setting here. Can't remember how to. See, the other ones have a clutch like this. This one has a, a setting, but I'm not sure where the button is. No. Yeah. 
Okay, let me do the rest of these decks and I can do some reinforcements on the side and a couple things. Okay. You wouldn't believe it, I used every screw. Every uh, two inch screw. Lucky I grabbed a handful more. Some of you said, hey, grab that handful. So I did it. So, so it's all in. See? Solid. I'm gonna get rid of this thing here. And then I'm gonna try to figure some lighting here. If I can put it a brace this way, brace this way, and a brace that way in the bottom. Just in case I have to move it. It's not gonna legs aren't gonna fall off. Well they won't fall off, but they might bend a bit. Oh, that's a pretty solid workbench, I'll tell you. Definitely a good one. And like I say, it's the right height. When you're smashing stuff, you don't you're not um you're not uh, there. It's solid. You can just smash stuff. It's solid. But what I'm going to have a, a metal. I want to put actually my waist maybe maybe here. See, so maybe processing more here. So I like the outdoors, right? Fresh air. But I have an option. I can be processing some some there, and I can start here. I can have buckets lined up here, like totes, and say that's copper, boom, copper, metal, shred, tin, circuit boards. That's why it's, the advantage is bigger too. If I was going four feet and had a bucket sitting there, it would be taking too much space for the buckets. So, so far that's my build. I'm going to try to get some trim here, just, I'll see if they make something that's that goes down there, I could just have uh, have trim around it, but you know it's not critical, not critical at all. But uh, it doesn't hurt, right? So I'm gonna have to. I say I wanna put a brace here, just something here. So, but actually, uh, I don't really. I, I like storage. That's the thing. Don't really need it to be honest, but I don't know if you have a hell of time lifting this up. <laughs> no way. Uh, it's heavy. But uh, I'd have to brace it if I had to move it just because this is two pieces here, which is too bad, but I should just I should well, the other van is still sixteen foot would not fit in there. It's okay. Still may put a one by four here. We'll see. So okay, um, put a brace on that side, put a brace here, right, that side I might hold off on that side, but it's it's in place pretty well, I measured already, that's kind of where the, my distance is going to be, like this. Okay, let me just get a few more things together, okay. Okay, so we're working on my vice here, put the vice there. Hopefully these will I can need something like this after. We can start a pilot hole. This will play better. <laughs> it's probably need a little bit bigger. Just, just get the head of the bolt in better.
best I can do. It's going to go through a 2x6 on the bottom there. I reinforced the bottom so it's going to go through a lot of different materials. I need to get... Uh, Driver that uh, big probably not. If I do have one, it's in a blue one. Maybe something like this. It's just crap. I had a, I had another container that was pretty good too that had some really big bits. Use a crescent wrench. Not driver, I can drive it right in there. Crazy wrench will take forever. There's three holes in that thing, but I have to ex extend the thing completely out to get the last hole. Sure, a lot of fire engines and stuff going steady. Driver would just go straight in there. And this actually get some big sockets here. Oh, got it. I need a drive for it. Good question: Where is it? It's a missing piece. Hmm. Okay, let me figure out. Uh, let's do the drive. Had some up here before. And here. So let me look for it. I found a drive, but there's no way it's going to work. It's way too tight. It's starting to loosen up here a little bit, but it's way too tight. Well, it's kind of going through aluminum, right? I don't have the exact fit. It's loosen up a bit. Time soon. Now, if I could get this one going, my turn. Trying to loosen up. So I don't have a bigger bit, that's a problem. Hold on. Okay, so... 
on so good. Never come off. No way I could force it off. Never. Look at this. How wide I can go on this one. It's actually pretty good. I have the other one there, but I think this one is going to be like, well, that could be more for pounding. This could be for something else. It's a little bit loose here. It's loose. There. Well, that's better. And after all, oil looks pretty good. I could not drive it in there. I had to actually uh, hammer it a bit. Then I had to use this thing until it loosened up a little bit. Then, then this thing to tight, like, tighten it and then torque it with this after. So that's done. I have to figure these lights out here. I'm going to actually... Two on, on here and maybe two here. I'm gonna get some wire and try to kind of organize it. I stuck some lighting up. If it's gonna work out, these always look better with a little shade, but try to get off. So, left those off. Hmm. So, I'm gonna actually. I'm not sure what I'm going to do to get the wiring done here because I need to get the other house done and the revenue, right? Make sure I get everything done there first. So I'm going to run the cord up that way, right? And I'm just going to unplug it when I'm not using it. Still, when it's dark, it should be really good for now. And then I have actually, I think that's all I have. I have another light on that side, which I can probably steal those. Maybe actually, I'll reverse those lights on here, and it'll be super bright. This whole area will be bright. Look over here. That one there is on a two by six. It's on a cord. That one I'll probably stick against the wall. Okay. Okay, bench is done. Unless I get trim here, that's a different story, but uh, so I would say it's done. It's definitely solid. Right? I don't like those lousy benches people, you know, they have and they're all over the place. The vices shake and everything. No, I want everything solid. So I can refund. We found it. Not even nothing. So I put uh, a little support here, but I put like for kick. So if I'm working here, you know, I could put my legs in further. I don't like it where you're restrained and you can't, you know, you stand like this. I want to be able to go like that. Next mission is to get all this clear. Well, I'm going to shuffle all this crap this way. I'll actually move these doors later because just because I want to have this whole area here. Kind of this area here. And then I'm going to start processing stuff. The shelving will go upstairs, I think. All this will have to go on that side. And then... I don't know where I'm going to put my tire machine. I don't know my tire machine, but... My, uh... I have my, uh wire stripper I, mean, I would have probably liked to go a little further that way put the stripper on the end but oh well so that's it finished product 
uh, nice and strong, great for scrap. But somewhere along here, I'm going to have to put up a, a pole that comes down because electrical will have to go. I want to be able to have electrical, like maybe somewhere here, something. And then, then I can have a junction box and I can plug all my chargers in this area away from the corner and I could, you know, so I got eight feet section here. I potentially have four work areas. One, two, three, four work areas. But I'm going to have probably totes sitting up here. And then they'll be labeled. Um, if I pull transformer out, I'll just bang, toss it in there. I'm actually happy. It's solid, really strong. I put put supports here. If I'm going to move it or something, I'll definitely I'll brace it better. But for now, I don't want to put nothing here just because I want to be able to put boxes here. So I might actually have the boxes here. You know, because it's so deep, I can put a lot of storage in there too. If I'm sitting on lots of copper, I can just have tub, tubs of copper sitting like this way. And still have stuff that way. You have, I have these ones here, but these tubs are a little too uh, used for something else. I want to use store store stuff in there. But the smaller tubs, milk crates and so on. So, finished product. And they're not, this won't, won't be cheap. Lumber is probably 500 bucks, just lumber. And then that's not even counting the, the 4x4s. Everything's so expensive. Well, I have two layers, 5 eighths plywood, right? And I have, um, if you didn't watch my first video, you know, I have uh, two by sixes, you know, that way. So it's pretty solid. Glad I have an awesome vise here now. This is so primitive, look, primitive looking. But I'm going to have to find uh, the big heavy plate. This is a, block, a smashing block, but I had a plate somewhere. I gotta dig out stuff, try to find where all the stuff is. See, a lot of this stuff is just scrap metal and junk, and you just throw it out, no big deal. There's some aluminum here, too. And this stuff really is just scrap metal I could throw outside. I'm not too worried about that. So I'll have another light. Okay, that's not LED. Okay. So we can find something like decorative, like solid, something similar to this. I put it like this all around, right? Maybe it's a little crooked here, but you can build it up. You can actually build it up, you won't even see. Put a little couple of filler strips in here. See that? Put a filler in here, and you won't even see it. It looks perfect. This one, I made it stick out a little bit here just because, you know, like I say, um, you remember I got screwed up on this wood here. I never measured the wood and it's one inch longer. Half an inch on eight, air, eight feet, right? Two eight footers, half an inch longer. I, I'm at a square of a one inch for sure. But anyways, so here like I can, I can also, if I get something that's a little bigger, I can hide all that, right? But it's no big deal, it's just a workbench. See, here's the cut I made with a saw. I mean, it's pretty, not too bad of a cut. You know, it's, I would say it's perfect, but, you know. So I have to try to find that, uh, I can put a carpet down. And then uh, I want something, I like to have something where I can always pound on something. Like I had over there. I don't know where half the stuff is. Okay, let me just uh, get organized a little bit here and then see what I can find. It's 
one carpet here. It's actually two carpets here. I don't put a carpet on the ground too here, so it's not so hard in feet. Okay. See how much storage I'm gonna be able to store under here? These are all transformers, two rows of transformers, all copper. That's strippable wire. This is strippable too. want to see what I have here more transformers oh more copper see when this is all clean and everything then I can still put processing stuff there to cut something and actually over here such a lot you know it's a big area I can put my um what do you call the uh, you know it's a, it's a saw that you pull down I'm not sure I forgot the name but I can use a, I got a big one, like a 12 inch. I can cut those stators, the copper coils off, off the one, off the stator. You can put it right here, because I got so much room to work with. You know, it's solid, solid, solid. So I got lots of brass. I can't believe the amount of brass I got. It's just everywhere I look, I see brass. Look at another container here. Trying to keep everything together so I know what I have. What's what? It's all brass. There's a little bit of copper, so I'm kind of go through here. Number two copper. I just wonder if the garbage cans will fit under here. Perfect. Number two, it's a little bit of bright and shiny. That's the number one. And then, almost bright and shiny, not quite. It's number two. Couldn't find a tape measure, I found four or five. You put stuff in a bucket and it gets kind of lost in there. Another one charged here. I'll charge all the batteries up. And these are handy too. You, know, you throw them all away, I used them all here. You start throwing them all away, and then one day you need them, right? Same with these tools. I could. I was almost gonna sell these tools. I used two or three tools today out of here. So sometimes you have to kind of keep whatever. It's like hoarding, but you know, tools are tools, right? You never run. You always kind of need them, right? This over here. You know. I can figure some stuff, but not right now. See, these are brand new. This will fit on my motorhome. I got it set. So, well, the problem is, um, some some have the screw, and some are solid. When I took it to the shop, the guy spin them off. So the other one is solid. It's actually a nut that drives through here. If you see, see that. Anyways. Keep those 16 inch stainless. Probably very expensive. Okay. Um, yeah, I can move those right away. Some want to cupboard doors, but everybody says they're coming, but no one comes. And are they coming? They waste your time. And they say, oh, well, so no, I'm looking for something different. Well, whatever. Make your mind up. Okay. Yeah. Don't bang your head. Yeah, and that's solid all the way down. There's a hole right there, though. And a hole right there, Phil. You gotta put a screw in there. Where's the hole? There's two holes there. Oh, yeah, those are just Mickey Mouse. But these are recessed, you know? Yeah. Not bad, huh? No, it's awesome. I'm gonna have to build one for glass. And yeah, look at this here. Get the vice on it. I'm trying to find my shear. 
this is what you use to bust apart those uh, the metal those metal things as I've seen you before. Put Transformers it in and stuff. And smash it with the sledgehammer. Can't find my shear. Right no shear. The metal shear. Did you get this one from a park? No, I got it uh scrap. So if get someone wants to buy cabinet doors. <coughs> Hopefully that's a sale. <laughs> okay, the guy just came back. Uh he, he ended up buying about a hundred dollars worth of those uh doors, <laughs> cupboard doors from from uh cupboards off of cabinets over there. So the lights actually look pretty good. Should be bright enough to make videos. Oh yeah, I can see everything clearly. Awesome. Okay, I think that's it for the video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. So I'm super happy, it worked out pretty good. Have a great day, thanks for watching.